My research is motivated by this peculiar situation that we observe on the sub-Saharan African continent today that uh, there's almost exclusive reliance on the use of former colonial languages as the uh, main language of schooling. Uh, in fact, with the exception of Tanzania and Ethiopia, there's not a single country which uh, offers even the entire span of primary schooling in a local language. Um, and moreover, there are very two peculiar features. Uh, one, that the colonial language uh, is very, very different from the languages that are spoken locally in these communities. And second, the very important fact that the day-to-day -day exposure to these languages that are used as the language of schooling, uh, the official language of the country, uh, remains absolutely low. So if you were to take most countries in sub-Saharan Africa and look at the data that's available on the proportion of people who are able to speak it, uh, figures are shockingly low. On an average, only about 20% of the population is conversant in these languages even after 50 years of usage. This particular piece of research is um, carried out in Cameroon, in the northern part of Cameroon, where children normally learn in English. Uh, this experiment was designed by my collaborator and co-author. So in this part of Cameroon, schooling is normally carried out in English. We selected 12 schools in the northern division of this part of the country uh, and introduced schooling for the first three years in a local language, uh, which is Com, which is the language spoken in this catchment area. And these schools were matched to 12 identical schools so that we had students who were comparable uh, but continued to study in English. We tracked both groups of students for a period of over six years and see what is the impact of provision of uh, schooling in the local language as compared to providing schooling in the former colonial language. What we find is that the students who study in the local language stream uh, score more than twice the amount of marks that students who are studying in the English stream do. Uh, on an average, the people in the English language stream score about 25 points on 100. Uh, the people who learn in the mm, local language stream score about 50 points on 100 and do better not only on mathematics, but in fact seem to do better on English. Uh, however, after the end of grade three, when these people switch back to using English again, when the experiment is over, we keep tracking them till the end of the sixth year of schooling. We see that they still exhibit some kinds of small uh, gains as compared to the people who studied in the English language stream. Uh, but our interpretation is that these gains are so small that they might not be of any importance when we actually think of what, does, what is human capital important for. So the main takeaway of a research, I would say, is that the wide-scale reliance on the usage of these former colonial languages are uh, responsible for the large-scale educational failures that we observe in this part of the world. Uh, and it's a policy that seems to favor a very tiny elite at the expense of a large majority. In terms of thinking about policy recommendations, I think the it doesn't operate in a political vacuum. Uh, so the political economy behind it is very, very involved and these need to be explored more in detail before we can come up with any definitive policy conclusions.